Oh yeah, Mason Ho had a GoPro. And like he got this insane wave and then I got an insane wave and like pretty deep barrel. And he was like right there, like filmed the whole thing. And then I like ate shit or whatever. And the next wave Clay Marzo was on it. Like Mason Ho paddled up. He's like, dude, I forgot to click record. Like that was gonna be the <laughs> sickest clip ever, bro. Just shut up. So just goes to show. Cameraman never gets the best shot. Yeah. Even if you're the cameraman. It's a known thing though. If you're gonna film, you're gonna miss the best clip of the day. Yeah. No matter how good of a filmer you are, no matter how much Adderall you took that day, you're just gonna miss the clip of the day. Yeah, yeah. Like. That's why you need to get two keeper clips or three or four. It's true. Like if the camera guy misses your best wave, yep. that's on you, big boy. You should have just done that over and over again. 100%, dude. You know, it's like, oh, I did like the sickest air and the cameraman missed it. Well, Maybe you should have got out there a little bit earlier and done two of those. Maybe you should be a little more consistent and land like six of those in one session so he, the cameraman he, doesn't have to focus on like one. He's just a man. Well, we're boys, right? So yeah. we can be honest with each other. Yeah. I ain't believing one bit of that El Nino shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since I was a little kid, they say, this is the year, it's an El Nino year, it's an El Nino year. And it's like, I'll see it when I believe it. Yeah, I'll definitely believe it when I see it. Obviously, we want that, but like, I'm not gonna like get my hopes up. Fugazi, Fugazi, you know? So I look, eye contact, <laughs> shaka me, him shaka back, <laughs> head nod, head nod, with the eye contact, <laughs> peace sign, him peace sign. <laughs> I turn and keep walking, never to see each other ever again. Yeah, we're gonna be honest with each other. You're an absolute idiot. it was gonna be silent <laughs> it wasn't it just kept going jesus Did Zeke. You fart, skip? no dude don't pin this around oh, wait wait, wait bro. skip where's your drone you farted skip oh skip part of the way through you're gonna launch your drone okay from the bed <laughs> yeah. take off and continue the podcast mm. from an aerial view secondary oh. angle from yeah. the drone unfortunately right, my drone my drone crashed where's it's not here anymore <clears throat> it's here I, you broken. had a new you had a new drone. I crashed that one too. You crashed it. What happened there? Into a mountain. What happened here? Can you explain what's going on here? They say a picture is worth a thousand words. <laughs> it, a picture's worth a thousand butt cheeks too. I personally like reading the news and uh Yeah, like current events, like yeah. interesting like anecdotes. Reading you know, romantic novels. Yeah, but I see like these beautiful women. It's not healthy. Like I see that, I'm like, I went I, wrong. And honestly, something I wrong. find it repulsive. Yeah, I I did something wrong in life. Like I, like I could have gone this way, and like that could have been me, that lifestyle. But yeah. I went that way, and I, like all I have is like, I don't have that. I don't know what kind of emotions I should feel right now. You know? Right here, Richie. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm gonna sit on the side. I'm gonna let you guys do I your thing. I'm gonna sit right there for right now, just so I can see what. On the chair, on the stool. Yeah, what it looks like. <clears throat> when like a rapper, like you're hearing a rap song, like they sample a song. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. You like hear the original. Yeah, you're like, oh shit, like. Some like Whitney Houston like verse. Yeah, know? yeah, and you think this guy's all clever. Yeah. But it's a backstage thing. But it's um, a backstage you know? thing. Zeke. You ready for this? Oh, I was born. I like where this. you clipped that. You like that? Should we talk about this? <laughs> Anytime you can clip something right there, right? <laughs> Especially like something like hydromagnetic. <laughs> Why do you like that I clipped it there? I'm just inspired. Why are you looking at my junk? I was looking at your speaker and it turns out you clipped it to your zipper. All right, guys. The old clip zip. Here's, here's going to be the topic. You're, so you're, how are you going to start <clears throat> Taylor Swift and Travis? Okay. Gonna be 
All right, on that note, we're gonna start. Welcome back to another episode of the Skip and Zeke Show. We've took a little bit of a hiatus, if you must say. Do you call it a hiatus? Um, we were just doing our research, you know, out there, living it up, <coughs> creating things to talk about with each other. It's, it's actually been good because I haven't even, I haven't even seen you, you know, like it's, it's nice that we have this time set aside we can just catch up. It's true, dude. It's true. We're catching up around the round table. We have some good ideas, and we're back. This time, more ghetto than ever. We got one camera, super ghetto. We got a super ghetto friendly producer behind the screen. And we have two little mics clipped onto our junk. Well, mine's clipped onto my junks. Gibbs is clipped onto his nip. Yeah, clip the nip, clip the tip. <laughs> and yeah, we're going to talk about a few topics that we'd like to discuss, and then... Also, talk about how we might bring this podcast down to the beach, dude, and set it up at the lot at our local surf spot. So, comment down below if you guys <laughs> want to see us bring this podcast to the beach. <laughs> Are you all right? I'm good. Now I'm clearing my throat. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just I'm not good with the um, introductions. And comment down below. <laughs> <laughs> Comment down below topics you want us to discuss. Skip hates it when I do this like, <sighs> comment, subscribe bullshit, but fucking do it, dude. Like this video, comment down below, and subscribe because it supports us. And, dude, the reason we haven't really podcasted is because it's harder than it looks to podcast. It is, dude. There's a lot of moving parts. You know, the setup, the production, and, like, all the moving pieces, it's hard when we're traveling. But we're going to bring them consistently to you guys. Dude, thank you, too, because... All I have to do is show up and then you do everything else. So, And I'm like, dude, how can I help? And then you're like, dude, I got this. Hey, so. well, thank you for the coffee and the burgers, dude. Thank my dad for the boigas and for the <laughs> place to host the podcast. Old Cromax? Old Cromax Shed. Old Mondo? Yeah. And um, what's up with your diet? Your sister said you're on a diet? Mm, I'm just trying to just... Get my shit together, dude. What do you mean? No more. I'm just, I'm, I'm tired, bro. I'm, I'm getting old. Yeah. You're no, I'm just tired. trying to like cut out like some junk food, you know? I eat a lot of, I eat a lot of bad food. Same, dude. I'm over it, dude. I'm, I am too, but I haven't really stopped. I'm taking a stand. I'm never eating in and out again. I hate in and out You just ate a cheeseburger though. Yeah, that's fine. I'll eat any cheeseburger any day, but I hate in and out uh, Last time I went there, I was completely <laughs> disgusted with the disgusted with the operation the food everything about it was tripping. disgusting dude. in and out is the best burger place i'm so planet. over that place dude it's it, dude it was oh please god i think i'm gonna be sick <laughs> i'm never going to in and out again i hate it all right so when did you decide to try this new diet thing out no nah, it's I'm not, there's no diet but well i said you want a burrito and you said no i'm on a diet dude yeah no who doesn't need a fucking burrito when his homie offers him a burrito? I'm working my way towards, like, a healthier lifestyle. All right, cool. I back it's you. It's hard, though, dude. Dude, like I want... Like, you go into a 7-Eleven, and, like, you're like, oh. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I didn't know what to get. I got cashews the other day. <laughs> I wanted, like, a snack, and I was just, like... Are you struggling with I've it? I reduced to cashews. It's hard, yeah. You, uh, you want me <laughs> to support you on this journey? Please, dude. All right, I won't offer you burritos anymore. Or in and out I'm sorry, I'm like a bad You can friend. offer me in and out dude. I'm over that place. So it's disgusting. So you have a serious problem I'm when it comes to this food by thing? It. Yeah, dude. Food is my enemy. So you're basically like a sex addict just living in a world full of hookers. And yeah. Blah. But the sex is sugar. And junk food. And the world is like a 7-Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my knees. What about Wendy's? What do you think Wendy's, about Wendy's nuts are in your... <laughs> <laughs> you like pizza? Dude, I love all this shit. Pizza of this dick. Uh. <laughs> so... Uh, how dare you. <laughs> the diet thing's pretty fucking classic. All right, well, I also wanted to ask where you've been the last couple months. Because for the people that don't know, Skip works construction pretty much full-time and surfs like part-time. Yeah. So what, you worked for like six, seven months straight to save up enough coin? You worked for a... It was like a solid four-pack. 
Solid four pack? It was like a four pack. Four you, pack to two pack. I think you bought a six pack, dude, but you gave away a beer and like half of it poured it out for like the homies. Yeah. So you worked for like four and a half months, five months? Four and a half. Surf for like two. I saw you. Remember we went to Bali? We were in Bali together. <laughs> <laughs> Skip's like, remember we went to Bali together? No, yeah. dude. I was in Bali for like four days, surf fire in Changu, and then happened to see Skip pull up in a taxi. Like, yo, it's changu dude. It's going on. We partied one night together. He got kicked out of Luigi's, the best party of the year, dude. He got oh, kicked no. out for having a pocket knife. He had two girls around his arm. A two knife. girls around his arms, oh. dude, and he got kicked out, bro. And then I see him out front, and he's like, we're... We're young and hot. <laughs> We're young and hot. <laughs> I'm young and hot. <laughs> I can do whatever I want. I'm and he, young and hot. He walks up to every girl he sees. He's like, "We're young and hot. We can do whatever we want." <laughs> and she's like, "Oh yeah, we are." And she's uh, like, "Well, not me. I'm old and ugly. Yeah. You're young and hot." <laughs> I know. I wouldn't call that going to Bali together, but we did go to Indo. Where'd you go? So you went to uh, G Land, Desert Point. And then... Watukarung. Java. Java. With Judd. With Judd. Shouts outs to Judd Hankis, dude. And Gimbal God, dude. And Gimbal God, bro. The best snowboard photographer in the world and the best all-around action sports athlete in the world, dude. Judd's coming out of the movie, <clears throat> too. So you going to have a part in the movie? No, I don't think so. I think I was kind of there for, like, moral support. <laughs> like, I don't know. Maybe have a wave. But if not, like, all good because it was, like, the trip of a lifetime and... I mean, you got some insane ones. I saw that frame of you standing in a fucking big right barrel. Yeah, we scored, dude. You got any other clips? Um, On you? No. Can we watch some? Honestly, no. Fuck. I think I don't own the rights to the clips yet. <laughs> You're going to have to. Dude. Yeah, it was it was epic just to um, hang with those dudes. Like the most we've hung out for sure. You know, like a month together. And just like all the stories that they had. Yeah. What, about like what they went through to make this video crazy dude like i know the video is going to be insane just because judd is insanely talented it's a movie yeah video movie video it's insane insane and then gimbal I mean, god is like the gimbler isn't <laughs> like yeah he's a he's, next level filmmaker and judd's a next level athlete like olympic level <clears throat> snowboarder and they're so chill, too. Yeah, they're legends. And, dude, they've been filming for this project for a minute. Like, I've seen some of the surf shit, and it's insane. Like, some of the best surf shit to ever come out of a kid from San Diego. And Judd's not even a pro surfer. He's a pro snowboarder. Like, he spends nine months, maybe, what, ten months out of the year traveling on snowboard trips. Yeah. And so, like, the snowboard footage is going to be next level as well. I mean, insane. the kid does, like, 1800s, which is, like, what, like, five 360s? You're good at math, right, Rich? He does like six 360s in the air on a snowboard. Like, he's unbelievable. And dude, I saw a surf clip of him from Waco. When I was in Waco, this kid showed me an iPhone clip. He did an indie grab, backflip, backside. I saw it. You saw it? Yeah, not really. How fucked up is that? It's pretty much like a upside down, backside alley oop. I've never seen an air like that. He's trying him at Desert Point. Would you call it a backflip? Or like just an upside down, backside alley oop? I wouldn't even know what to call it. It's like an indie. Just because he's a snowboarder, we'll call it a cork. Oh, my God. That's insane. That's what yeah. he was calling it? <laughs> no, nah, I don't know. That's insane. He had a, I think he, he called it a backside alley-oop or something. But it's he pretty was, inverted. But huh? it was, yeah, like I would have called it a backflip if it was me. Fuck, that's insane, dude. Yeah, I decided if he wasn't a pro snowboarder, he'd just be a pro surfer. <laughs> <laughs> I was, like, like. That's how hard he, that's, yeah, he's not really. You kind of showing a little too much skin for us, dude. You don't like my bare midriff? <laughs> what the fuck is bare midriff? <laughs> I like showing a little bare midriff, dude. Leave me alone. This isn't OnlyFans, dude. Put it's it like away. a reverse plumber. <laughs> <laughs> a reverse plumber's crack? Yeah. Oh, my God, dude. I'll cover so it up. Where was the sickest place you went in Indo? Ah, oh, fuck. I got, like... This guy, dude. Um, sickest place we went? Yeah. Um, dude. Uh, uh, Watukarung. <laughs> that was the sickest zone. Huh? Pretty sick, dude. There's just a perfect slab on this side of the channel, and then there's a perfect right slab on this side of the channel. 
And we were just like surfing the right, like by ourselves every day. The left was like, the crowd was mellow, but like they kind of like all the boogies that were there just kind of gave us the right. And uh, damn, dude. Yeah, we had the we had the right of way. <laughs> That's pretty sick. That wave looks insane. I the water go. was freezing though, dude. Really? Ice cold. Why? I have no idea, dude. It was freezing. G Land was freezing too. No way. Yeah, so that was kind of a bummer. What about at Desert Point? I heard a bunch of shit about how crowded <clears throat> Desert Point was, and then I saw a clip of Clay Marzo like flipping some guy off and like calling him out while he's on a wave. Was deserts crowded? Um, it always is. It wasn't that bad, dude. I think because like there was like three swells. Yeah. And then there was another swell coming. Yeah. And then we went on this little in-between swell. So like everybody was kind of burned out. They'd already been there for three swells. So everybody kind of like went back to Bali. And there was like another swell in like a week. So like people were like, oh, we'll just like come back. And the swell we went on like wasn't that big. So I think we kind of scored. Like, but I think the swell after yours was packed, was fucking so crowded. You see that clip of that dude getting like shoved off his board and like shirt pulled and it was gnarly. I think I saw that, scrap. yeah. I mean, yeah, it was pretty crowded when we were there, but like I've seen it way worse. Like when me and you were there the last time, it was. And what, what happened with Clay Marzo and Mason Ho and those guys? They just showed up and just ran the show. Yeah, those I mean, guys are so gnarly, dude. Rightfully so, right? They're like the best barrel riders in the world and like been going to Desert Point for decades. Yeah, they're just machines, dude. Like they surfed more than everybody. What, they hopped off the speedboat and just burned everyone? They just hopped off the 16 passenger and just dominated, dude. Just absolutely dominated. Um, <laughs> what happened with Clay Marzo and that one kid? Um, <gasps> fuck, what happens? I think Clay Marzo... Clay Marzo is, like, one of those guys, you can't just, like, say Clay. You got to, like, say, like, <laughs> both of his names, you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 Clay Marzo. Clay Marzo, like, burned this guy. I don't know if it was on accident or what. And then the kid's like, dude, what the fuck? And then Clay Marzo's like, bro, fuck you. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just saw him, like, splashing. <laughs> <laughs> We're just guessing that's what he said. <laughs> yeah. But, like, whatever. It's Clay Marzo, you know? It's like... Dude, it's like having, like, Hercules coming down, like, from, like, <laughs> Mount Olympus, yeah. and, like, you know? It's like, oh, all right, whatever, it's Hercules, you know? I'd be honored if I'd Clay be, Marzo burned me like, at Desert Like, please point. burn me. I'd be, like, coming down the line, I'd see, like, Clay Marzo's face, and, like, please burn me. Please burn me. <laughs> dude, you made, you got a clip in the Clay Marzo <laughs> video on Mason Ho's YouTube Fuck, channel. Fuck, I know, dude. Did you see that? That was crazy. And he's like, and Clay Marzo's like, Oh, my gosh, who's that, Skip? Oh, oh, underground. I got the clip, Skip. Hey, pay. You don't have to. Oh my gosh. Perfectly. Mason O filmed it. He filmed it. He's like, dude, it was the first clip I've filmed in like 10 years. I think it's the last one I'm going to film. <laughs> but honestly, thank you to those guys because I completely blew that wave. Like, nobody's ever blown a wave that hard at Desert Point. Okay. So thanks to Rory. <laughs> for just putting the part I got barreled on <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> and cutting out the rest of the wave that I just completely blew. No way. Yeah. Well, the clip that he showed looked pretty sick. Yeah, so. so thank you for putting me in the video A and thank you for cutting out like this whole first section. I just went straight past. Should have just been in there, but whatever. Dude, it was you live sick. and you learn. Unfortunately, you got to learn the hard way. Yeah, true that. Bro, that's insane. And, um... That Desert Point Swell was pretty sick. We got it at Lakey Peak, but then I heard the next Swell at Desert Point was so crowded, dude. Yeah. No, the place is gnarly, dude. It's it's crowded, bro. I mean... From what I can tell. I mean, when we were there, I think we got kind of lucky. Yeah. Um, But, yeah. yeah, I heard it's just packed. But, I mean... Did you guys party when you went back to Bali? Yeah. Really? Yeah, we went to uh, karaoke. No way. You know what? <sighs> I don't even remember. It's a good sign. I did karaoke one night with like, like Will and all, like that whole crew. Yeah. And then there was another karaoke night with, yeah, I don't even know. Karaoke's super fun though. It is, huh? Like uh, Brad Flora, amazing karaoke artist. Yeah. Skylar Allen, Insane. amazing karaoke artist. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What happened? 
I don't know. I heard they fun. sing that one um, Russell Brand song or whatever from uh, Greek, <laughs> the Greek like really well. When the world passes you, Jeffrey, just pet the furry wall. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, 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 yeah. I think I did wall. see them do that. <laughs> I think they're really good at singing that song. Um, so, yeah, were there anybody using a GoPro at Desert Point? GoPro, GoPro. Oh, yeah. Mason Ho had a GoPro. Oh, really? And, like, he got this insane wave, and then I got an insane wave, and, like, pretty deep barrel. And he was like right there, like filmed the whole thing. And then no like, way. I like ate shit or whatever. And the next wave, Clay Marzo's on it. No way. And then like Mason Hope paddled up. He's like, dude, I forgot to click record. Like that was going to be the <laughs> sickest clip ever, bro. <laughs> Shut up. So it just goes to show. That GoPro suck. Cameraman never gets the best shot. Yeah. Even if you're the cameraman. Yep. So. Now, no offense to the cameraman, it's just like, it's, it's, a, a, law. it's a known thing though. If you're gonna film, you're gonna miss the best clip of the day. Yeah. No matter how good of a filmer you are, no matter how much Adderall you took that day, you're just gonna miss the clip of the day. Yeah, yeah. Like, That's why you need to get two keeper clips or three or four. It's true. Like if the camera guy misses your best wave, yep. that's on you, big boy. You should have just done that over and over again. 100%, dude. You know, it's like, oh, I did like, the sickest air and the cameraman missed it. Well, maybe you should have got out there a little bit earlier and done two of those. Maybe you should be a little more consistent and land like six of those in one session so he, the cameraman he, doesn't have to focus on like one. He's just a man. He's just a guy. He's just one man. He's just a mere mortal living in a world of gods. God. Uh. So I personally, have you ever used a GoPro on a wave? Yeah. No offense to like anybody who uses a GoPro, like, <laughs> but I personally think like fucking around with a GoPro and like a super long sick wave like that is whack. Like I'm not gonna name whack, any names. Whack for yourself or like whack in general. Like if you see somebody doing it, you're like you're whack. Are you saying like Fuck. the the art, the act of having a GoPro in your mouth is whack, or like you see a dude with a GoPro in his mouth, you're whack. I don't know. I mean, I was going to go on this rant how there's like this one clip of this guy that I know at this wave, like f cold water spot and just like the barrel is just so thick and wide. Not going to name any names, but he's just like out running the barrel, like playing with the GoPro, like holding it right here. And then like, oh, yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah. and the barrel is barely for like 60 seconds. Yeah. I'm like, dude, ditch the fucking GoPro and just arm bar that thing. Arm bar that thing. Grab that thing by the fucking braids and <laughs> yeah. just fucking manhandle that just Bend thing. that thing back. Just, just bend that thing over and just fucking pound it. Bah, bah. Just fucking get in that thing, man. <laughs> just kick stall up into the barrel. The thing was so big and gaping and he's like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna hold the GoPro like this. And yeah, then, yeah. Cut. then he flips the GoPro, holds it behind him. I'm like, you're not yeah. even in the barrel. Like bro. it must be nice just to be getting that barrel, like that you can just like waste time outside of the barrel, fucking with your GoPro when there's like dudes like Richard over here working a nine to nine. Yeah. Fucking wishing they could have been in that barrel. No GoPro, no leash, no yep, worries. Twelve hours you know? a day. And I may just be saying this because I'm jealous and I've never gotten a barrel that good, nor have I ever gotten a clip of me. Like, in a barrel that good, like, fuck, dude, those GoPro clips at Skeleton Bay look so sick. But it just looks fucking whack, in my opinion, when, like, there's, like, a sick clip from the beach and you got, like, this big GoPro in your mouth. Yeah. But okay. Okay. Yes. <laughs> but, you know what? As time goes on. Yeah. Yes. I agree with you that, like, I hate when they, like, Flip it I've around. done it. I've done it. I've had a GoPro. I've been in the barrel. Look, because like that's just what you do, you know. I'm kind of over that. It's been done okay. too many times. All right. And so put down the fucking GoPro, Jamie O'Brien. I mean, they're probably paying him a big chunk. I like. I just think the turnaround. <laughs> I'm kind of over it. I'm kind of over it. But I must say. That like GoPro footage, I've it's grown, I've it's grown on me over the years. Yeah. Like when I watch like the Nathan Florence videos. All right. Yeah. And like he catches a wave, and then like the next clip is like his GoPro angle. Like it's pretty sick. All right. Yeah. I'm just like GoPros are sick. 
Those those but, raw POVs of Nate Florence at Portos and Dido and shit are pretty fucking dope. But that was annoying when he like was like the thing was just kept barreling and he like did the <laughs> yeah, the thing was barreling so hard. And he could have just fucking stuck his arm back in there instead of sticking his arm in his mouth. Yeah. Trying to pull on his fucking tonsils, make himself pull trig <laughs> so he can keep partying. Yeah, dude. So to speak. If you have ever finger banged a chick hard enough, you know sometimes you just got to stick your whole arm in there, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, I took it too far. Do you? Do you? <laughs> Putting a GoPro. I took it way too far. Underneath the board, you know, or like underwater. You know what? The fins are by the rails. So you, yeah. You just have underwater <laughs> angles are on the rails. Has somebody done that? You remember when we went to Puerto Escondido, or no, we went somewhere in Mexico, dude, and you freaking drilled a GoPro mount onto the tail of your board and put your GoPro on the tail and it broke like first wave or something. That was and me, right? You didn't get a single clip that was with me. it. And wait, let's talk about the time we went to San Francisco, scored all time Ocean Beach. Yes. And you had a GoPro in your mouth and like you said, it didn't record or like it, the whole screen was black or like blurry or yeah. and you tied a shoelace to your wetsuit and like yeah, dangled yeah. the GoPro. And I, I think you got one crazy clip, but like the GoPro fucked up on like two or three of the crazy ones. Definitely. You get a- um, What happened there? You get your debit card. Yeah. And you like, like if this is your GoPro, like the back right here, you get your debit card and you put it like that and then you duct tape it at like a 90 degree angle. It's like a mouth mount. <laughs> That's what you did? That's what we did. <laughs> oh my God. And dude, that's so funny. I remember you rolled up to Mex with this. This was like a year ago. So the, the first GoPro story was like maybe eight years ago when we were like 16 years old, 17 years old in San Francisco. And then the second story I was talking about was like last year. And you rolled up to Mex with a GoPro Hero 3 or GoPro Hero 4. Yeah, like yeah. Like 10 year old camera, dude. The oldest Mosquito GoPro I've ever seen. You know who gave me that GoPro? Who? Skull Candy. Really? A long time ago. I was a young man back in those days. No way, dude. Hooked it up. Still got it. So thank you, Skull Candy, for the GoPro. I'm still using it. Shouts out to Skull Candy, dude. They may be our first presenting sponsor on this podcast. We're still uh, we're still in conversation with them, but shouts out to Skull Candy. And shouts out to Playboy Magazine. Pamela Anderson, January 1996. That was the year I was born. This Old podcast Pamela. is sponsored by Playboy Magazine and Pamela Anderson herself. So, yeah. Um, yeah, let us know if you guys want to sponsor the podcast, help support us. If not, just, you know, like this video and subscribe to the channel. That's how you can support our podcast. Skip, don't show any of the content. <laughs> All right, fucking show it. We can Later, it. later, later. It's too uh, that's soon. a perfect segue into our next topic, which was actually brought by your sister and our producer, Richard, Rich the Kid. Richie um, Manilow. Did Travis have a beard. Kelsey. Travis. The tight end for, <clears throat> for the Chiefs is now dating Taylor Swift, dude. What do you think about that? Dude, that's fucking killer, bro. There's always some dude named Travis dating some super hot chick. <laughs> I'm fucking sick and tired of it. Oh, I'm Travis. I got a super hot chick. <laughs> I'm naming my son Travis, dude, just so he can date all these hot chicks. Travis this, oh Travis that. You hear about Travis? Yeah, he's dating. I think Travis That's Barker. That's all I got out of the Travis Barker. Travis a Barker. Man. He's dating a Kardashian. Travis Kelsey. Right? Travis Southworth. Always yeah. got a hot girlfriend. Yeah. Travis. Oh, Southworth. He does have a hot chick, huh? That's sure, to Travis dude. Southworth. Legend. Yeah, Travis Barker is the fucking man. He replied to my DMs Pistrana. one time. Travis Pastrana, dude. Travis Pastrana, it's a great name. Yeah. It's a great name. I named my kid Travis. And I'm, he just might find a hot chick. For sure, dude. Or he'll end up gay. He'll yeah. be an amazing athlete, that's for sure. I think everybody we just named is an amazing athlete. That's true. That is true. Um, so do you watch other shit on, like, social media? Like, I know you didn't know fucking about the Travis Kelsey thing, Taylor Swift thing. Do you watch, like, YouTube, Instagram? What's your, like, main form of content viewing? Instagram, YouTube. You don't watch uh, that much shit, but what TikTok? Do you, what do you watch the most on like YouTube and shit? YouTube. Um, you lately, don't fucking TikTok. 
The Holy Axe. <laughs> You'll follow the Holy Axe? Oh yeah, he does have a TikTok. Yeah. But you've just posted like six ridiculous TikToks and then like never posted anything again. Dude, I'm active, bro. So as you can see, I broke two bits this morning. I broke two bits in the morning. I broke two bits at night. I broke two bits in the afternoon. It made me feel all right. All right, I'll check it out. Oh, the Holy Axe. Pull it up, Rich. This shit's legendary, dude. <laughs> you know that I'm Rogan? Like, Pull it up, Eric. Pull it up, Henry. <laughs> yeah, Richards or Jamie. <laughs> Pull it up, <laughs> Jamie. That's who it is. <laughs> but you know what, dude? I'm over Joe Rogan. Why? Put Jamie on the fucking thing. I think we should get Richard up here too later. At least later. Yeah. If not now, at least later. Like, dude, this Jamie guy. Yeah. Just sitting behind the doors. Fuck these fake wannabe freaking old school <coughs> fucking podcasters. We're new school, dude. Get up here, Rich. The world deserves to see who's pulling the strings from behind the podcast. Dude, there's a chair here for a reason. Come on. Get over here. This right here, ladies Try it and out. gentlemen. It's kind of fun. Once you get going, it's kind of fun. This right here, ladies and it's gentlemen. It's weird. It's weird to not have him with it's us. True. Like just to have him in the corner, suffocating his words and actions. <laughs> I think that's a little belittling, you know. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, I think we should stick but up. I've moved past it. I've, we're here now. Show Jamie on the this Joe Rogan podcast. So this is for you, Jamie. Richard is our high school homie. Um, he actually went to a nicer school than us because he's smarter. Um, he then graduated and went on to bigger and better things. Wait, 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 wait. Didn't we all go to Sunday school together? We did. Did we? Yeah, because I went to Sunday school with you. CCD. And then I went to Sunday school with you. I went to Sunday school? Yeah. So we were all in Sunday school together. No At way. At one point. Did we get stopped no, together? Probably. Me and Skip got baptized together and First Holy Communion together. Yeah, and I think you were, we were all there together. For sure. Yeah. Dude. So not only high school, didn't we, Sunday school. Didn't we all go to Vegas together that one time too? I've never been to Vegas. Oh, really? Yeah. Any desire? It's on my bucket list, you know, for sure. Like what about it? Like the bright lights, I think, and just Dude. like... I want to go to Vegas so badly. Dude. You know, we're going. The, the whole oh, world. Yeah, you guys is, are going. Oh, you for, guys want to go for Warren's birthday on um, October sixteenth or something. All right. So, just out of curiosity, like, I'm down. What's go like see the Blue Man Group, dude? Yeah. Now we're like talking. Cirque du Soleil. Now we're talking. Yeah. What's like the purpose of going to Vegas? Just get like fucked up and like lose a bunch of money gambling and like bang <sighs> yeah. a hooker. Yeah, everything you just said. <laughs> yeah. Who wouldn't want to do that? Just waste only a bunch place of money on fucking horse yeah. shit. All right, I'm down. Just Can I ride my dirt bike into the pool at the Bellagio? Dude, you can do whatever you want in Vegas. All right. I'm All super that kind down of stuff for sure. Is, we could probably get some good podcast guests out there too, Let's huh? Let's do it, dude. You know, you just On like, the strip? Yeah, just find some yeah. random dude on the strip, like yeah. dressed up in like a like a Kiss costume. Yeah. Like, yo, it's the guy from Kiss. Okay. You know what? Punk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking sure. about? I saw the guy from Kiss last time I went to Vegas. No like a way. Robocop impersonator. Oh, you know? Oh, like, just for sure, like Robocop. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's probably like 10 I'm of the those out there. Kiss. Michael Jackson. Yeah. You yeah. know those guys who are like statues? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't move. I got a big fake tattoo on my back last time I was there. Seriously? Yeah. A back piece? Yeah, it said, fuck you. No <laughs> way. I'm, I'm across my back. That is I got sick. a photo of it. I'll put it up. Um, you got something in your teeth. Do I? Mm -hmm. I made a vow with Aurelio. If somebody has something in their teeth, you have to tell them. All right, well, thank yeah. you. So. It's a good good friend. What other podcast guests should we get on here? Like, who are good guests that you guys would want to get on the podcast? I have a few ideas, but I'm curious to hear yours, Skip. Um, guess. Yeah, who do you want to get on this pod? It'd be <clears throat> like, uh, are you talking about like local celebrities or yeah, like local international? Okay, yeah, local. obviously, we'll like, local. obviously, I think it's just fun like from to just, our boys. Yeah, sit like, down with people like, I know. But of the international too, you I know, mean, surely if they're here. I mean, dude, I interviewed Bam with Sorge, and it was the funniest podcast ever, and I'm probably gonna release it soon. Mm. Like, we got Sorge on. My vote's Max Diaz, dude. Give a little background about Max Diaz, then. <laughs> Can't just 
He just teased um, the world. He got he's like, honestly probably the number one local legend for that's really born for the big screen. He's probably gotten like the gnarliest wave any La Jolla surfer's ever gotten. Like I mean, JoJo has obviously gotten the biggest wave ever, but Max Diaz pulled into a tube with some guy dropping in on him on a sixty foot Puerto Escondido left. Can we so answer gnarly. that clip here? Max Diaz, dude, come on the pod, bro. Yeah, I think like, everyone always wants to get these big, famous celebrities, dude. We're getting Kim K. We're getting Steve-O. We probably might be able to get Steve-O. But everyone's trying to get these big guests on here. Why don't we just bring on the underground heroes, the local legends that nobody talks about, the local legends that nobody gives credit to, dude. We're the ghetto podcast, bro. They've got as good as stories, at least, you know? Better, dude. For sure. Max Way Diaz, better. I was in a hot tub one time, and I think Max Diaz boxers. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm fucking on a streak right now. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, I'm banging 365 girls this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. He said he went a, a banging a different girl every single day for a whole year. And he was on, like, day 359 or something. Coming up on 360. I should have been pissed. But I high-fived the dude and I was like, that's so fucking sick, dude. I was, like, 15 years old. Just Gnarly. Like, dude, they I They call that a Diaz. That. They call that Diaz, Diaz, Diaz year, yeah. Huh? It's a Diaz year, yeah. A full Diaz if, year. He's still the only guy who's ever done it. Yeah, I mean, someone I, might catch up to him, but for now, he holds the record. 365. Fuck. Imagine <laughs> just counting to 365 and then putting all those bodies next to each other. <laughs> you could fill a whole auditorium. <laughs> you know what I mean? You could fill a whole like stadium. One, like one is one, but like 365 of ones. You could fill a whole. It's a, a lot, lot of concentration, you know? <laughs> Dude, that's a lot of semen, man. Sorry, I keep taking it too far, huh? Well, let's talk about that for a second. <laughs> it's crazy what the human body can do. Right, when it's you know pushed I mean? to its limits. <laughs> I don't Even think when there you is think you're limit. at your limits, yeah, you know? Yeah, it'll, it'll just, it just, just, just keeps on giving. Every, gift you know? that keeps on giving. I have a saying. Every like inch like, counts. True, you know? true. And, you move know, those chains. Move those chains. Fourth and inches. I love a good fourth and in inches. Always the fun. You know? It's true. You like a fourth and in inches or a fourth and in long? Me, I mean, I'll be real, I'm fourth and in inches. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's not going to, it's never stopped me. Yeah. Oh, it's not that long, but it's super skinny. And it curves yeah. to the left a little bit. You yeah. too? <laughs> <laughs> Handsome guys, though. Have you guys ever heard of Mark Norman, the no. comedian? No. Dude, he's fucking hilarious. What about bro. him? Um, I mean, for starters, like, he finished off his <clears throat> podcast with Steve-O that I watched. Like, hey, you want to, like, shout out any of your platforms, Mark? Or, like, uh, you want to, like, tell the viewers where to go? And he's like, oh, no, all good. He's like, praise Allah and... Don't touch little kids. Later. <laughs> Is that what he <laughs> yeah. said? That's how I edited it. The guy has like a special out on Netflix right now. It could have like promoted Mark his special, Norman. his Whoa. Netflix special. It could have said like, yeah, follow me on Instagram. Instead, he's just like, praise Allah and don't touch little boys. Nice. Why not? And he's just like a New York white guy. Yeah. I like it. It's like, praise Allah, maybe some comic relief, and then don't touch little boys. It's just like a good message yeah you know what i mean it is a good message yeah it's applicable for all it's like what we were talking about with the speech you know you go like comic relief and then you bring it back to sentimental right it's true that's true um it's like the speaking of bringing it back reeling it, reeling it back in you're good at reeling it back in by the way we'll i did on. want to talk about surf related shit okay they're hyping up this year to be like the biggest el nino yet yes um do you remember past el nino hype up years did they live up to the hype and like in your opinion how do you like foresee an el nino like how do you predict an el nino from for like uh for like a citizen like a I'm yeah. just like a standard guy. I'm yeah, a regular yeah. guy. I don't know how to read all these like swell charts. Yeah. So like I do kind of just tune into Surfline, Windy, Swell Watch, all this shit just to check it out. What do yeah, you look yeah. at? Um, well, we're boys, right? So yeah. we can be honest with each other. Yeah. I ain't believing one bit of that El Nino shit, dude. <laughs> 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 Ever since I was a little kid, they say, this is the year. It's an El Nino year. It's an El Nino year. And it's like... 
All right. Well, like, I'll see it when I believe it. Yeah, I'll definitely believe it when I see it. I'll, I'll if I if I see it, I'll believe it. I'll believe it <laughs> if I see it. Whatever. So I mean, obviously we want that, but like I'm not gonna like get my hopes up. Was it's like, like sitting there in your bed, like oh, like a million dollars is just gonna like come my way, but like there's nothing it's like so out of your control you know what i mean could it be further from the truth you know i think getting a million dollars is like actually an attainable goal having like el nino is like it's like fugazi fugazi you know yeah yeah, yeah. it's like get him to the greek it's like get him to the greek it's like i get like the da the data's there this time like this one's real but they say that every year yeah that's where they said that last year yeah and like th we had an el nino a couple years ago and the waves like pumped and then we had like a La Nina year, and then the waves pumped. Last year was bigger than any El Nino year. Yeah. I swear I surfed 50 foot blacks. That's the biggest blacks I've seen in 50 years, and that wasn't even an El Nino year. Yeah, so it's like. Yeah, what is up with that? And Hawaii was the worst winter I've ever seen on the North Shore. Yeah, it's just like. Great. If there's an El Nino, great. But if not, like, I'm not even going to, like, think about it. Like, why would I even, like, All right. Fugazi, Fugazi my mind into. All right, that's so true. So if you're an average Joe, just forget about it. Just get back to work and just do your thing. And if it happens, be stoked. If it doesn't happen, just be stoked. Yeah, I back that. Obviously, I'm voting for an El Nino. Yeah, Skip loves Big Surf, dude. Every year they say El Nino. I swear, every year. <laughs> am, I, am, I, am I nuts? I mean, last year they said La Nina. This is true. They said La Nina, and it probably rained more than ever. The water was probably warmer than ever, and there's probably more swell than ever. I think we need to get Mark Sponsler in here from Storm Surf. To Is break that that down guy? The, yeah, break down up. the graphs and charts, Dude, you know? We that guy's so fired up yeah. on El Nino right now. Dude, that guy's an actual legend. Let us know if you want an actual legend on this podcast, because that guy will tell us what the fuck is good. What? We're boys, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we can be honest with each other? Yeah. But is it like one of those things where like he can just hype this thing up like, oh, the numbers are there. Tune in next week. It's always just a tune in next week. Because oh, that's homeboy's yeah. job, dude, is yeah. like to get like people, viewership. viewership. That's like when you go on Surfline and like two weeks out, it always says like six to ten. <laughs> and then it's never six to ten, you know? Because if it just said two to three all the time or if this guy was like, dude, this winter's going to suck fucking camel dicks. Yeah. Then fucking. true. You'd never... Tune back in. So this guy's just like, yeah, like the data, like let's just let's spin the data. It's true. Am I ranting? Let's cook Have the I books. gone too far? Let's cook, cook the, books. the books. Let's might cook be some the books. There's book some, cooking. He might be cooking book, dude. I hate book cookers, dude. I kind of like book cookers. You like? Gets me fired up. Really? And, and like, think about it. Behind the scenes, probably like <clears throat> Channel Island surfboards paying like Surfline, like. Hey, promote El Nino because Santa Barbara never breaks unless it's an yeah, El Nino. Yeah, the whole. Surf We're trying to sell some more surfboards this year, like Rincon and Sandspit's going to be all time. So yeah, it's an El Nino. Here's fifty grand to the table. And yeah. Surfline's like, oh, we need hundred and sixty grand. And Tiran's like, all right, we'll settle on like seventy-five grand and like send over a couple prostitutes to your office. Yeah. Oh, I love a good conspiracy theory. You know what I mean? Because like yeah. the whole surf industry. Is based in Southern California. Yep. Southern California is like only good during an El Nino. So like the whole industry is hinging off of an El Nino year. It's true. You know, I bet like maybe Richard, you could look into this, like how much money the industry makes. Yeah. Follow the paper. Like on an El Nino year it's a paper versus a, uh, you know, like a regular La Nina year. Right. Like. I bet, like, they've been hyping up all these El Ninos. I bet, like, Chris Christensen and, like, Gary Linden, all these big wave surfboard shapers, stretch. They've been, I bet they made so many Tenos this year, dude. For sure. Have they hy been hyping up the El Nino year pretty hard? Dude. I mean, for me, I feel like they're, hy like, everybody's talking about it. Yeah, I guess Even right. when I don't know what to say with somebody, I'm like, yeah, it's supposed to be an El Nino. <laughs> just what you say now, dude. <laughs> Skip's always talking to some guys for to be politically history. correct, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's like it's like <laughs> basically like yeah, like how about this weather we're having? If yeah, you're a surfer, it's like how about this El Nino? You just having? don't want to be controversial and yeah, you know, but not say. We did get a north swell. 
a couple days ago. Like oh, Mavericks yeah. broke, so maybe like okay. It's so a sign. question. Yeah. At what point on an El Nino year, like how many swells in, do you realize and say, okay, it's an El Nino. <laughs> oh, that's a All good right, point. I was wrong. Like it's here. That's how many swells point. in? You know, and is that's it? A good point. Do they have to be within a certain window? You know, consecutive. Well, we mm. only really got one big swell last year, right? Or two big swells, and Just then two? it was dead. Yeah. yeah, I would say it was like probably like three in a row. Yeah. Three in a row, but then it was dead, right? And that was it. Yeah. Um, you know what? I don't know. Cause like you talk to like older dudes and they talk about like El Nino 81, El Nino 98. You'd have to ask them. Like, I don't know if me and Zeke have ever really seen a true El Nino. I mean, I think 2016 was a pretty real El Nino. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I, I gotta, I don't know. It's hard to tell because like, I don't even know what really like. (laughs) What really confirms, like, whether it's an El Nino or not, like, the amount of swell or, like, the weather patterns or, like, uh, I don't really know what dictates what is or isn't an El Nino. I think, like, sorry, dude, I'm such a dick. Oh, tell me. I think, like, the water has to be, like, abnormally warm. Oh. And there needs to be, like, a lot of, like, rain and south wind, too. I Uh feel like. All right. So, like, if we don't get in our booties this year then it's probably like a real El Nino. It's a good way to not. You heard it here first, folks. That's fucking, hmm. that's pretty true. I'm normally warm being like, for the winter time, like 60, 65. I don't know. You're gonna have to ask like someone, like my dad or, you know, someone who's, who Water's there. pretty warm right now. And Water's dude, pretty warm right now, but. There have, but what? So no, you go. So you. But there have been like, what? 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 What you gonna say? No, no. Go for it. <laughs> there have been a ton, a ton of big south swells in Mexico. There was a bunch of swells all over the world, dude. Like Europe just had a couple big swells. Yeah. Tahiti had some big south swells. Yeah. Like South America was pumping, dude. I definitely think like there's some weird shit going on this year. Like all that stuff about me saying it's bullshit. I definitely think like there's <laughs> some something's going on. Because yeah. I was in G land, the water was freezing, and they're like, this is kind of weird. And then El Salvador, it seems like the water was like way warmer down there. And it it's was, already right? hot. Yeah. And it's like way warmer. Yeah, the water was so warm <laughs> when I was in Costa Rica and Mexico, dude, like abnormally warm in Barra. Yeah. I talked to this guy when I was in the DR. He's a weatherman. No way. And like he was confirming it. I guess like the equator and like the poles are like six degrees warmer than normal. No way. Which I guess is like a big deal. That's pretty sick. Like I guess they fluctuate like a degree or two. I I could be wrong, but something like that. You said swell in Alaska? Remember we were talking about that? You showed me that, right? Yeah. What was up with that? I don't know. Is there good waves in Alaska? You see Ben Gravy's YouTube videos from Alaska? I didn't watch it. I know you told me to watch it. I got to be honest. Dude. We can be honest with each other, right? Yeah, we can be honest with each other. You're an absolute idiot. Fuck. Fucking idiot, dude. Let's talk about you for a minute. Her husband died in a hang gliding accident. (sighs) Idiot. What an idiot. Women are so horny at funerals. (sighs) You know, grief is nature's greatest aphrodisiac. And... Nobody laughs at my jokes. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> I was thinking of you to just be a total flop on your own podcast. <laughs> That's me, dude. I'm the flop of the podcast. Uh, no, nah, Ben Gravy surfed some sick waves in Alaska. He surfed like a river bore and he surfed some glacier melting um, waves that were pretty mental. But yeah. what? Ocean waves? I don't know. You ever get nervous in front of famous people? Yeah. Do you? Yeah, dude. Come on, be honest. It <laughs> seems like you don't. I do. Why? Really? Why do you say that? I don't know. Like you're just staring at Pamela Anderson's tits, and you're just asking me, "Do you ever get nervous around famous people?" Would you get nervous around Pamela Anderson? Probably. I don't know. You're just always around famous people. Like, I'm just curious if you get shy. I mean, dude, I've hung with Bam like a dozen times, maybe more, and we just hung with him on the East Coast in Philadelphia, and I was like. So starstruck because we're just at, like FDR skate park, like the most legendary like core skate park of all time, and he's like filmed so many parts there, and like 
TV shows and movies there. And like, I've always seen the clips of them like rebuilding shit under the fucking freeway. And I was so like nervous and like shy because he was just like, he's my boy, but like, it's Bam Margera, dude. He's like the most legendary skateboarder of all time. And he's fucking ripping and like, just like had his iPhone out, rocked up, filming us. Like, he was filming everything. He was like, yo, get my back, Zeke. And then he was like, yeah, I'm on. Fucking blunt to fakey, fucking boneless over me. Let's fucking get it. Yeah. And then we like landed the clip, and he's like, the question is, skate or die. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? what? And I had to think about it for a second. And I was like, wait, what did he just say to me? And like, I realized he said, like, he was asking me a question. He wasn't saying, like, skate or die, brother. Yeah. He yeah. was like, the question is, Zeke, skate or die yeah. and it took me a couple seconds to answer but i was like skate done yeah. he's like yeah i'm on yeah skate it is brother that's so sick and so yeah i get nervous definitely. like you didn't want to like say the wrong thing and then like he stops answering your calls or something yeah <laughs> like oh remember that one time that kid said die instead of skate yeah it's like skip who's the most famous person you've encountered throughout your travels um that's a good one dude one time uh I went to uh, Park City for a Skull Candy thing, and uh, Usher was at this party. No way. And Doja Cat. And Travis Pastrana, right? Uh, Robbie Madison. Oh, it was Robbie Madison. I saw Angela from The Office in LAX once. What? Saw America Ferreira there. No, no way. way. I saw Kevin Bacon. Oh, didn't we? I just saw all these people I didn't talk didn't to. Didn't we them. see Matthew McConaughey this year? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we <laughs> saw Matthew McConaughey. Hung, Zeke, like, broed out with him, We dude. pretty much hung out with Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. Like, where? <sighs> dude. In the North Shore. He's on the North Shore. You, like, talked to him. I mean, that's, yeah. I talked to his kid. I'm like, we, homies of this kid. We had, like, a lot of encounters with him. Yeah. So many, dude. It was, Skip was, like, pretty much running one of those tours in Hollywood. It's like, yeah, this, this is where Matthew McConaughey lives. And, like, was, like, just telling us the lowdown about where Matthew McConaughey lived. Yeah. Time. He was, like, in this house. Uh, like at off the wall yeah. and he was just standing up there just like watching the waves and like Zeke's like don't look but Matthew McConaughey is right there and I'm like fuck it I'm looking so I look eye contact shaka me him shaka back head nod head nod with the eye contact peace sign him peace sign <laughs> I turn and keep walking never to see each other ever again dude that was my interaction yeah bro wow skip brainwashed matthew mcconaughey to throw him a peace sign and then a shaka gnarly encounter dude it was like one of those hypnosis things you know maybe skip he like hypnotized you and then i hypnotized him back and then we did the weird shaka peace sign thing together yeah i kind of might have been it huh? i could have been it dude my and you're God, sure you've never met before no, dude. No. What? Um, remember, uh, was it Shane that vibed him? Oh, yeah. Shane Kre Kreutzer, my, my old filmer. The Flo. Man, Flo vibed, <laughs> vibed him. Vibed, vibed him. Matthew McConaughey. Flo didn't know who he was, dude. So Flo's filming us at Rocky Point. I think he's, like, filming Finn or something, too. And, like, it was super serious. And, like, McConaughey walked up and was like, hey, it's a nice camera you got there. And Flo's like, yeah, thanks. He's like, Psh like kind of brushed him off and then McConaughey's like what kind of setup do you have you're running down there and Flo's like oh I'm kind of busy filming uh, I'll tell you later wow. and just brushed him off dude. dude brushing off the greatest actor in the world of our generation greatest mo motivational speaker of our generation greatest philanthropist of our generation some might call him the greatest of all time I even hear he's a successful like sculptor seriously he's an artist Wow, dude. Yeah. I mean, he just wins at everything he does, you know? He does, yeah. him, dude. All he does is win, 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 no matter what. <laughs> Got money on my mind. I can't ever give it up. So throw your hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my I God. I didn't know the next line, dude. I'm sorry. That shit is It's all good. Bad. We'll rehearse next time. All right. Thank you. Yeah. You got, you got some more celebs, Skip? Come on. Who's your celebrity crush? Oh, it's, it's Jennifer Lawrence. Really? She <laughs> ages like know. fine wine? She's just like fine wine. Yeah, that's On a sweet. warm summer day. <laughs> what about you, Rich? Who's your celebrity crush? 
Ooh. I think Dua Lipa takes the cake for me. Ooh, if I'm gonna be really that's honest. such a good one, dude. Mega what? babe. Yeah, I know. It's like not the most creative, but. What? You're right. She's so creative. She's Latina, dude. But you know what? She's talented, too. She's talented. Which adds like an element of. She's know. inspirational. Dude, I have her on uh, Snapchat if you ever want to like track her location and shit. I can like, really? show you her live. Just a quick little oh, stalk. You know her. Yeah. No, I mean, I don't know her, but like you can follow your like. No way. Cel- famous people on snapchat and like she posts like updates every day so like if you're like i ever want to know where dua lipa is just text me i'll let you know so you can stalk celebrities on snapchat now i mean yeah yeah dude you guys didn't know this been stalking dua lipa since like 2018 can i ask a stupid question sure how deep is your love no, no, no. Is that Dua Lipa? <laughs> How deep, deep is deep your love? <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't think it is. But <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's definitely not. It's, uh, one kiss is all it takes. Don't stop. Fall in it love up. again. Pull it up, Z. One How kiss. deep is your love? <laughs> is that the same How song? <laughs> Oh, it's dude, I love that song. It's a good I'm song. Not out tonight, dude. Should we do? Because should we go to the lap? Somehow it's not Dua Lipa. Is that it? That's not no, it. No, that's huh? the Bee Gees. Calvis, ha- Calvin Harris. No, it's um. No. This is the song. This is the song. But it's like the Chris Lake remix. Should this be the... Yeah, this is not Dua Lipa. Should this be the intro to the podcast? (laughs) The song? We're going to get copyrighted. Yeah, we'll get so copyright infringement. Put on some... uh, That shit is fire. Should we go out tonight, actually? Dude, I love partying so much. Let's go do a lap in PB, Do a live podcast in PB? Bro, never drive through PB on a Friday night, dude. I was driving here after I surfed, bro. Dangerous down there. You guys should do a live podcast down at like Firehouse or Thrusters. I'm down. Comment below if you want to do a live podcast in raging Pacific Beach conditions, dude. I'm talking like eight to ten foot howling offshore, dude. Like hot black chicks everywhere, dude. And like maybe even some little Asian girls, like for rich. It's all good. I like blondes, but we're going to sample some other vegetables tonight. Like all good, dude. Comment below if you want to do a podcast in PB. Should we go do a little lap though? Fire it up. Let's do it. I'm Every down. night. A little lap with the boys. Yeah. A little ice cream sash again. Yeah. Let's do it. What else is new? I got lactate pills. I mean, dude, I heard PB rages even harder in the wintertime than it does in the summer. I just On El Ninos. <laughs> on El Ninos. El Ninos. That's how you know. Firing. I Yeah. I, I miss just like a good old fashioned just night in PB, thrusters. Dude. Just dancing. I was those ran- drinks. I was randomly just those drinks. The Angelas. The drinks. The Angelas. The Angelas. Dude. Dude, I've never had a drink at Thrusters, bro. That's good. It's like uh, that's really good. Pineapple, yeah. orange, guava, but with like rum. Yeah. Really. And vodka. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. It's like the bartender's name's Angela, and there's yeah. like a sign right there's like the Angela. <laughs> I I got sober before Very I was able heavy. to go to Thrusters and drink, but I do have a video of Skip. Walking in like straight off a plane, flew home from somewhere like Indo or something, and was like, "We made it, yeah!" And it's like karaoke, and someone passes Skip the mic, and he just hops up on a table singing karaoke, jumps, tries to crowd surf, yeah. and I think he jumped into the bouncer's arms, basically, yeah. <laughs> and the bouncer caught him and carried him straight out the door with the mic. <laughs> yeah, way. Like went in, jumped, crowd surfed. <laughs> like to the back of the crowd and then like landed in the bouncer's arms and then he just took me straight out <laughs> I was in there for like two minutes it was kind of nice it was pretty funny um all right well let's do it we're gonna do go do a lap in pb thank you guys for watching we're gonna bring you weekly podcasts with up. the crew swipe up to get iced up and not the fuck going on a whole lot of gang shit d street watch out for the d street homies make they, it pop they will jump you clap diego dog South side, homie. And yeah, thanks. That's it. It's a wrap. Boom, dude. We did it. Let's do, it. Let's do another one. Episode good, two, right? Good now. work. <laughs> good work. Good job, guys. You guys really.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.